hand on the front door, the lady was saying that it's just not springing back. So I've ripped out the two springs that are underneath here and replaced them. And now, get this back on. Lovely. Ooh, got to love a screw fix on a Sunday. It's dead, love it. You all right there? <laughs> You're a little bit tired, are you? <laughs> right, so taking there was a big old keep there, taking that off. Man, started to make that good. And the keep for the actual night latch, <coughs> I was sitting there like that and fixed to this block. Um, so I'm gonna whip that off while I'm doing it. I'm gonna whip that off and make good all this block. I'll just cut a block for that there. And get that fixed in there, glued in and screwed in and uh, get all this made good. I've done the filler, first coat of filler on here. So I'll give that a sand up and then I can actually start fitting the lock. Just on a job in Hove, and I've been here before for this lady. She's got this uh, this door here and these handles, but this one failed a little while ago. And I did a temporary kind of fix. I put a screw through the spindle, but then she was going on holiday. So uh, she just asked me to do like a temporary fix and then sort it out when I get back. Now, these are discontinued this size of handle, so. We're gonna go for something a bit bigger, like that. And then I've just had the mechanism out just to check that the new screws are gonna clear the, they're gonna clear the uh, gearbox. So this one, I just need to redrill holes just above there. In fact, I think the bottom one, yeah, I think the bottom one might line through, uh, but I just need to make it bigger just for this little stumpy bit. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully these work, these handles will work nicely. And on the front door, the lady was saying that it's just not springing back. So I've ripped out the two springs that are underneath here and replaced them. And now, get this back on. Lovely. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're well. It's a beautiful Sunday. Uh, it is really nice out there. Uh, I've had a call this morning from a guy who's got a hotel in uh, on the way to Lewis um, called the New Market, and actually one of my students, uh, Matt, it's where he stayed. It's about 15 minute drive, I think, um, from mine. But they've got a Yale Smart Lock that they keep having pro uh, keep having problems with um, when guests arrive. They're not, not able to use it properly, so they're waking like the manager up in the middle of the night just to just to get in. So. He's asked me to change, um, <clears throat> asked me to change a lock for a particular code lock, um, one with a handle. So he's told me that the one that he wants, um, uh, but from Screwfix. So I'm on my way to get it, to get it now from Screwfix, and then we'll get out there and get it changed over. I think there's going to be a bit of making good as well um, on the door, possibly on the frame. Um, so yeah. Let's get out there and let's get this fitted for him. Ooh, gotta love a screw fix on a Sunday. It's dead, love it. A little update. <clears throat> so just been a screw fix, picked up the lock, spoke to my son, Josh, who's the carpenter, and uh, he wanted to go for a little kickabout with, um, with my, other little, my, my youngest son today. He wanted to go for a little game of football and um, I've just said to him, I'm gonna go and do this job. And uh, he's gonna come and give me hands. You might get to see Josh. Although he probably won't want the camera on him. I might even make him do all the filming. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna grab Josh and then we're gonna go and get this lock fitted. All right, here we are. Josh is being lazy, sitting in the van, don't wanna come over. Um, so yeah, this is the one I'm gonna change in. I'm gonna pull that off. And we'll put in, this is the one they want on there. So we will get it done. Right, so we've got all the old lock off there. Um, uh, this is the front, so this is the template. 
this is the template for the uh, for the new lock that's going to go on. Um, and I mean, the lock doesn't fit wonderful to the to the door, but I'm going to go about there. I think it is going to overlap in this corner, though. But there's not much I can do about that. So yeah, so I've marked the two holes where it's going to go, and I've marked the centre of the latch there, which is that point there. So. Um, probably going to cut a plug in here first, um, get this all made good, um, and then I'll do the hole for the, for the latch. Right, so taking there was a big old keep there, taking that off, man, started to make that good. And the keep for the actual night latch, <coughs> I was sitting there like that and affixed to this block. Um, so I'm going to whip that off while I'm doing it. I'm going to whip that off and make good all this block. I'll just cut a block for that there get that fixed in there, glued in and screwed in and uh, get all this made good. I've done the filler, first coat of filler on here. So I'll give that a sand up and then I can actually start fitting the lock. That's the glock, uh, the, the glock, the block screwed in there. So, uh, sorry, glued in there. So I'm going to get the plane on all that now and I uh, get the filler on that, get all this sanded and then, yeah, we can start putting the, the code lock in that's there. Right, that's all of that done. That's all sanded up, feeling lovely. Looking good. Just needs a lick of paint. Doesn't look very smooth, but it actually is really smooth down there. Uh, so the latch is now fit the latch. Uh, so now it's ready to actually start fitting the lock. So hopefully it won't be too much longer. Just can't see Josh, see what he's doing, shall we? Unreal, unreal. I'll come and give you a hand, Dad, I will. <laughs> you right there? <laughs> You're a little bit tired, are you? <laughs> right, that's all that sanded. Um, just got to fill it. I've sanded this bit of filler down there. This hasn't got to be wonderful here. It's all going to be covered up, but I just wanted to make sure that it was filled in before I fit the new um, before I fit the new lock um, basically so that because it's I mean it's a bit of a weak point there and if, the, if there's too much of a gap or too many holes in that it's just not it's just not very good is it so yeah better to fill it all up and know that it's solid and uh, yeah all right let's fill with this lot here and and then we can start actually fitting the lock. I've been here for about an hour now. Uh, well, yeah, arrived about an hour ago, so I thought it's best to get all of this making good done first. And uh, this is all the stuff that I'll show you on the course, actually. So if you're interested in doing one of the courses, so I'll show you how to do all of this sort of making good stuff. You don't need to be a, quite a, quite a carpenter to be able to do it. Um, it's all pretty. It's all pretty simple. I'll show you all that. The basic carpentry skills that you're gonna need. Right, God, state of the paintwork. I'm fighting a losing battle before I've started here, I think. All right, a bit more there. A little bit on that, a little bit on that. And it's a little bit on that face there. That'll be a lot. Oh, I need a second coat a little bit. Oh, it's starting to go already. So warm today, this, this uh, filler's not, not um, lasting very long. Leave that to go off, and then uh, just do that a bit there. Leave that to go off, and then um, give it a sand, and see if it needs a second coat. Right, there we go. That's this one all done. So I saw the making good done there, latch on there, uh, making good all down there, and then code lock is on. Obviously, make good the door. Uh, so the code. I'm just going to turn this away. 
here we go. 